Hey Virgo, welcome to my third channel, my Virgo only channel. My name is Chelsea. Thank you so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing. I post every day bringing you the latest updated tarot reading. In this reading, we are going to get you some important messages that you need to hear right now. Today is the 13th of December 2023. Time here in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia is 5.24 p.m. Okay, Virgo, let's get your reading started. Spirit Angel, please show me important messages that Virgos need to hear right now. Thanks for being here, Virgo. Please bear in mind that rules can be reversed between you and whoever. It could be in your energy field. Four pentacles at the bottom of the deck, Virgo. We've got the Eight of Swords right here. This could be somebody who is thinking about you a lot, overanalyzing, not taking actions, but it could also be you, Virgo. Lately, you may have been thinking a lot about something that you are not satisfied with, with the Nine of Cups here in reverse, and the Queen of Wands. Hmm. Now, the Queen of Wands is looking at the Emperor, and the Page of Swords is looking at the Empress. Okay, th these cards are actually interacting with each other. I feel like Virgo, there could be someone who is keeping tabs on you, spying on you, okay? This could be somebody who is interested in your person, unless you are the Emperor. Because the Emperor can indicate somebody, it could be related to work for some of you, okay? If not, this could be someone you are currently connected to romantically or in the past, okay? But there's someone here watching the person you are with right now or were with in the past. Because the Queen of Wands can be a jealous queen. And I'm actually not reading her in such a good light because of the Nine of Cups here in my books. This person is not satisfied either because of what you have. It could be a hater, but it could also be, again, for those of you, if you do know that your person has somebody else, it's like a third party being in a love triangle situation, this person, that third party is spying on you, okay? Page of Swords. Unless, if this is something to do with work, okay? Because, again, Emperor is a CEO of a company, right? And the Empress here is a one first. You may not be aware of that because I do read the Empress as you, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. You may not be aware of that. You just could be, you know, just doing your own thing. I feel like this person is, like, trying to pick on your weaknesses because Empress is one first. Uh, somehow, you know, the best you can be is the Empress, which is you, Virgo, right? But when it's in love first, I feel like right next to the Page of Swords, somebody is trying to like tear you apart or trying to look at you to see if you have any weaknesses, okay? Especially for those Virgos who are very well put together, you may not be aware of that. Because again, the Queen of Wands and then the Emperor right next to each other. That's because this person wants what you have, okay? Or may want to go above you if this is a work connection or somebody who is very competitive because the Queen of Wands can be quite competitive. Unless Virgo, it's vice versa, okay? It could be you thinking a lot about somebody else whom you could be competing with. You could be spying on that person because you're competing with that person because you want to um, be like them or be better than them uh, or maybe because you are the third party again Virgo bear in mind it could go vice versa okay now seven of wands here is in reverse ace of wands okay could also indicate Virgo for some of you, it may not be that big of a deal. It could just be because the page of swords is somebody young, somebody who's still learning. You may be inspiring somebody, 
somebody may want to learn from you, try to see how you do your work, why are you successful. Hmm. And for some of you Virgo, you could be looking into learning something new so you can so you can grow because the Empress indicates growth. But Spirit could also be encouraging you. Perhaps learning something new will help you grow, okay? Um, it could be a new new education, uh, new skills, new talents. That's that's just for some of you, okay? I'm also seeing Virgo. Some of you you could be with someone if you are currently connected to someone romantically. You may have trust issues. You may not trust this person. You may think that they have someone else, okay? But if or if they've started something with someone else or are they are they intimate with this person? There's a lot of like page of swords like curiosity. This is a very curious, inquisitive energy, right? Can I trust this person with the seven of wands? I'm always gonna put my cards down. And also for some of you Virgo, you may have someone new, very, very new, Ace of Wands, where you don't trust this person. It could just be you trying to protect yourself with Page of Swords, wondering if, you know, with the Seven of Wands in reverse, if you can actually trust this person. Little bits of uh, messages here that I'm seeing, again, may not apply to each and every one of you. Let's pull out more cards here. Got the Tower. Moon in reverse, Three of Cups, Wheel of Fortune in reverse, Four of Wands in reverse, Nine of Pentacles. Good. So this is you, Virgo. Let me have some of my. This is not coffee. This is, um, we call it my little chocolate, <laughs> chocolate drink, Malaysian chocolate drink. I don't want to overdose on coffee, but now, Virgo, Nine of Pentacles. I love the Nine of Pentacles, but the only problem is. Nine of Pentacles can be a little bit too independent, too self-sufficient. Um, it's a good thing, but it may may not be a good thing sometimes. Okay. I'm hearing something as well for some of you because this uh, Emperor and the Empress, these two are divine counterparts, right? Um, for some of you, Virgo, the person you could be um, currently connected to, they may feel as though you're more successful than them. They may feel intimidated by you. Um, maybe because, especially if you are the female, okay, the feminine energy. And that's like a side message that I'm picking up on. And that could actually lead to your person or it could be anybody this person you could be connected to or in the past okay somebody may have left you the tower or decided to sabotage this connection because they think you're way too independent or way too self-sufficient okay but don't feel bad about it Virgo I feel like this applies to more like the feminine Virgos okay because the Emperor here is right next to the Queen of Wands. So there is a chance where this person may want to seek validity, uh, validity, seek validation, <laughs> seek validation elsewhere because they may feel, again, maybe you're just too independent, too self-sufficient, too confident. Um, this is just for some of you, Virgo. And the Queen of Wands is a little bit more, the way she's looking at the Emperor is like way more adoring. While you're like adoring your other things, right? Definitely not that person in particular, okay? It could also be this person trying to make you jealous for some of you. I don't know, today I'm picking up on like little bits of messages here and there. Again, just take what resonates with you, okay? Now, not a pentacles and the three of cups here my eyes are dotted towards these two right now so it makes me feel like you're going to be celebrating something career-wise okay money-wise you're going to celebrate something um feels like it could be good news and for some of you it's like a send-off 
Okay, this is just again a lot of details in today's reading for some reason. Um, there is like a send off. Um, your friends or your family will send you off to your new journey. Your new journey would be either you moving, moving to a new country, moving to a new house, four wands in over like you're getting out of some a place that you've been in for a while. Um, because the four wands gonna comfort stability, so you're getting out of your comfort zone. So that means it feels like you are gonna some of you are leaving your nest, okay? <laughs> leaving your nest. It could be an 18 year old Virgo or it doesn't matter you could be 50 years old it's never too late to start a new life a new journey some of you are doing that okay it's like there is a send-off three of cups it's almost like a farewell party um, by Virgo it's like you know and it may be like the tower here may be kind of it's like maybe a, it's a very big drastic change or or a very drastic decision um, the tower indicates an ending right so there's somewhere you're going okay and there could be like a fair little thing going on um, from your family with your family with your friends the will of fortune here is in reverse so there is this notion of as if you're gonna be sticking around for a long time um, wherever you're at right now but then this is why the tower is right next to the Wheel of Fortune. It's almost like, whoa, we didn't expect that Virgo is making this big decision to like leave, to go somewhere, okay? going somewhere, okay? The moon here is among first and four pentacles. Um, four pentacles is you needing to manage your money, okay, properly uh, before you make this these big changes, okay? Four pentacles is a frugal card. And also it can indicate, you know, it's like pinching pennies, uh, being frugal. So it's basically saying, hey, you need to be frugal because the tower here can indicate um, for emergency purposes, you know, for the rainy days. So make sure, Virgo, even if you have enough, you think you have enough right now, for those of you, Virgo, now Pentacles like, yeah, I think I'll get by next month. I think I'll get by, you know, by doing this such and such. But definitely a warning here for pentacles to you know uh, manage your finances uh, accordingly okay before you go ahead and do this tower here but i do see a lot of you are just gonna go ahead and do it but it is also something eight of swords where you are going to be thinking a lot and feeling it's like sometimes when you think a lot and we analyze too much it's because we worry so it could be a bit of a worry war what <laughs> virgo i'm also a virgo by the way so but it could also be this way of saying hey you know maybe you need you need to really worry about it. you really need to plan right six of swords see you're going somewhere virgo um and ace of wands you're starting something new like a very new uh beginning a new journey and you can apply this reading to anything you may not be literally physically moving to somewhere it could just be a metaphor of you Virgo just starting a new journey um, and with Ace of Wands feeling excited but also could be a little bit worried about whether if this is a the right decision or not to move on or to move forward to start or to start something new okay because the Ace of Wands Ace is so new it's a new beginning so I mean even if you worry you should be right anybody would be worried about a new territory a new place a new you know experience um so there's something about you like actually feeling really excited about it but also you could be worrying about it but uh in a page of swords some of you may have been just doing a lot of research um or could be preparing for you know just in case if there's emergency da 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 who should i put you know, um, rich parent or parents as emergency contact because the empress and the emperor can indicate, you know, uh, like parents, right? But I do see you feeling really excited. You could also be embodying the queen of wands for, it feels like Virgo, maybe if this is not happening right now, this could be a prediction of what's to come where you're just gonna go for it. I see a lot of you are 
actually going to take actions towards what you desire, what you've been passionate about. It could be a passionate passion project. It could be anything. I see you going for it, but also I see you worrying about it, right? The moon here is in reverse. Thinking, because the moon can indicate paranoia, fear, you know? Um, thinking all kinds of things. What could go wrong? I think that's very typical of Virgo and for once in a while, you know, getting out of your comfort zone, a place where you have been in like an environment or a place could be a place spiritually, right? Uh, metaphorically, to come out of that and to be independent, not of pentacles, uh, without familiar faces or the things that you're familiar with. It can be quite scary, okay? And the emperor could also just be you stepping up, right? Emperor wears the pants. This is a very masculine energy. Whether you are a male or a female, you are going to step up. You're going to be wearing that those pants. And you're not going to be soft, too soft, too nurturing, too nice anymore. I see you just this very fiery passion, like I want to do this. But... Of course, again, Virgo, something new, and it might be scary thinking about the worst, what could happen if you get stuck, and things like that. Um, but I would say, Virgo, just go for it, okay? As long as you're prepared with the Page of Swords, as long as you're prepared, you've done your research, and even if something was to happen unexpectedly, at least you're prepared, okay? Card Fool, see? A lot of you, Virgo, the fool here, you're taking a new leap of faith, right? Taking a new risk, a risk, but calculated risk, but it could also be Spirit's way of saying, hey, you can, you can take this new leap of faith, but make sure, because the full sword is very strategic, full sword sees laying down, this is a soldier coming back from a war and he didn't die, so usually before they leave, for war, they will buy themselves like a coffin because most likely, you know, soldiers will, this is a soldier, the soldiers will perish during uh, war. So yeah, they would usually prepare a coffin uh, before they even leave. But I feel like, and this soldier didn't die, so he came back. This is the original story of this uh, card right here, right? So he, they would usually come back and lay on top of the coffin and pray or pray and also the swords here indicate okay what's next right what's next laying down thinking contemplating planning what's next so and swords indicates intelligence as well information thoughts um communication so virgo and this is actually look at this right here it's like it at a church actually or a house it looks like a church to me but um Virgo some of you could be praying to God right hoping that everything will go smoothly or hoping that you will uh, start something new here okay go on this new journey on your own nine of Pentacles yeah it's scary because you're gonna be on your own but most Virgos are very independent but still you know um, going into an unknown ter territory can be again uh, scary so four swords yeah definitely needing to plan properly okay if you are going to take any risks at all make sure that you know that you're all set okay it, <laughs> I'm, I'm glad to see that a fool is in the right position you're definitely not a fool but for some of you if you you know sometimes the fool is like Sometimes when we're too excited, right? Queen of Wands, too excited about something, we might forget something. So don't forget something, okay? For those of you who are going on to this new journey, don't forget anything. Make sure, you know, all the all your boxes are checked. And we've got the Ten of Pentacles here. Ooh, okay. Nine to ten. This is good. So whatever you're searching for, okay, whatever new journey that you're embarking on, or even a new relationship, whatever it could be, you will eventually come to the 10 here with the 10 of Pentacles. So that means you're gonna get what you want. Now the fool's journey is not that simple, right? The new the fool's journey is number zero. He has to go through all of these cards, 
major arcanas or the minor arcanas and then to get to the last card which is the world where a chapter closes and then a new chapter begins which is again we'll come back to the full here right so Virgo I see a lot of you are starting this new journey um, some of you it's a love journey some of you it's a career journey some of you it's a life journey some of you it's a spiritual journey where I think at the end of it you will feel very very extremely fulfilled I feel like you're gonna be very proud of yourself that even if you do something out of your comfort zone even for some of you if you get kicked out homeless because the four ones were can kicked out as well sometimes I do read it that way um, you will eventually find something else but something else that is better you know before that it was just for ones you know and after that you're just gonna you're gonna and this for ones isn't even like a good for ones because it's in reverse so that means the foundation isn't even that stable to begin with so the ten of pentacles is like this is even better <laughs> way 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 better um, as you can see, the house here is made of what? Bricks, you know, made of bricks. And the wands here, of course, there's a castle at the back here, but I'm looking at the wands right here, are being held by these uh, sticks, right? And I don't see it as long lasting, especially when it's in reverse. When it's in reverse, I cut it into half. So from two to two, from four to two, from four legs to two legs, right? So, um, Virgo, I see eventually it's gonna be well worth it, okay? Uh, I see you are going to celebrate. Of course, again, it's gonna be scary initially, but, um, but I think it is something that you must go through and nothing comes easy, okay, Virgo? So four swords of love planning is very important for you know the unforeseen with the tower here, the unexpected, not a cup to your reverse. You may not be getting everything that you want in the beginning. Um, you may wonder if you're making the right decision, but I would say that you are making the right decision as long as it's well planned. Okay, four swords and a page of swords here. And it will be revealed to you eventually with the moon here in reverse that ah, I'm so glad that I follow my passion, that I see it through, I took actions, um, and then the emperor here, and then you will rise up to becoming the emperor. And the emperor is very well respected, so I feel like whether you're male or female, you're going to step up, you're going to be wearing the pants. Okay, not saying that you're not already, but if you are... Um, <laughs> Yeah, now you're gonna wear a tuxedo, okay? It's like a step up. Um, let's pull out a few more cards here, Virgo. <laughs> Some of you, for those of you Virgos going through a separation or a divorce, because the emperor, the empress here can can indicate that, right? Um, I think. I think. If you're going through the separation and this divorce with the ace of wands, I think you're definitely um, learning something new. Your spirits could be encouraging you to actually learn something new. And you know, the ace of wands, wands can indicate creativity as well. The fire can indicate creativity. Think about what do you have? Like talents do you have creatively? Or think creatively how to start a new life without your person uh, whom you separated from, okay? And I feel like that will also kind of invoke certain attention from the person you are separated from, okay? Six of Cups is right here, Five of Cups at the bottom of the deck. For those of you Virgo feeling sad right now about something that has happened or whatever else is going on in your life right now, um, I feel like not to worry. Ten of Cups has come out a lot in a lot of your readings, Virgo, so there's, you know, happiness at the end of it and this is so good because you've got two tens here Virgo you're not only going to be really happy you're also going to be very very abundant financially wealthy um, you will not be alone <laughs> anymore I see you're gonna be with somebody or um, some of you may have children or blended family if you want children or start adopting pets 
um, Six of Cups is your soulmate connection. But the Six of Cups, for some of you Virgo, you may have somebody who's missing you right now, okay? This person could be disappointed and sad that you've taken a new leap of faith and you've liberated yourself from them and this person can't stop thinking about what it could have been with you. It could have been great with Virgo. I would have been happy. I would have been, you know, in a stable relationship. We would have been such a great team, blah, blah, blah. Nine of Pentacles, but Virgo, I feel like some of you, you choose you. Yeah, you don't, you're not choosing this person. Maybe this person has disappointed you in some way, shape, or form. Three of Cups, this Three of Cups right next to Nine of Pentacles, it makes me feel like somebody is celebrating also. Like, you know, there's some people, celebrities, they will celebrate their divorce. Um, so some of you, a divorce, separation, celebrate being single. Oh my gosh, uh, that song from Selena Gomez, wait, 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 let me, <laughs> let me look it up, Selena, oh, single again, for those of you who are currently single, just gotten single, or thinking about being single, single again, let's see what it says, the lyrics, <laughs> uh, single again, should I do it on the phone? Should I leave a little note in the pocket of his coat? Maybe I'll just disappear. I don't want to see a tear and the weekend's almost here. Okay, so yeah, this is a little bit more childish. Okay, Virgo. Some of you, maybe you're young, a younger Virgo, like um, 17, 18. Some of you are literally leaving your nest, okay? Um, out of your parents' home, things like that. Not all of you, but I do see if some of you, you are going through a divorce or some sort of separation, a big one because the Tower of Pentacles, the Tower of Cups right here, right? Oh, did I turn this around and reverse? Some of you are not returning to someone from your past, okay? You just want to choose you. But it's free will, it's up to you. Um, yeah, you see, I'm picking out this dress, trying on these, sh these shoes because I'll be single soon. It's almost like, again, just celebrating, celebrating your singlehood, okay? If you're not feeling this way, Virgo, if you're in despair, five of cups, spirits could be encouraging you to celebrate your singlehood. It's so nice being single because, you know, you can date whoever you want to. It says, yeah, I'm going to date who I want to, stay out late if I want to, I'm going to do what I want to do. <laughs> So it says right here, it's well, I know I'm a little high maintenance, but I'm worth a try. I might not give a reason. We both had a lot of fun. Time to find another one. Okay, so Virgo, try to think about it positively. Okay, I feel like this part of the message, message is for those of you going through separation or divorce. So some of you are or, are, or should, okay, spirits could be saying you should celebrate this singlehood, you know, um, go get buy some new clothes if you have some extra money okay but four pentacles just when i said buy new clothes at four pentacles it says no 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 um actually you need to you need to save money okay or you know just enjoy celebrate your singlehood try to think about about it positively but it does look like Virgo. um this new beginning is gonna be full of excitement okay Get ready for it, okay? Because the tower is right here. Um, but it's going to be well worth it in the end, okay? It's going to be well worth it in the end. And now, actually, Six of Cups was enough, right? I don't know why, why I put it, like, back down here in my first. So it just kind of made me feel like now it's back up. Okay, so now it makes me feel like somebody could be wondering, should I return? Should I, should I return or should I move forward? Should I return or should I move forward? But some of you, Virgo, after you going through all of this, your fool's journey here, okay, you might look back and feel like, wow, I should have done this either a long time ago, or I don't even want how things used to be for me anymore. Like, what I thought was my happiness before, I, I didn't know what happiness was until now. Okay, until now. So you six of cups, yeah, I can indicate somebody is returning, somebody's missing you, feeling stuck. They could also be going, socializing, drinking, whatever, just to forget about you, but still holding on to this connection. Can't believe that this is over, or 
Now the moon here is in my first feeling really vulnerable. Not eight of swords, can't stop thinking about you. Not very happy, not feeling contented, even if they are engaging with someone else. Not a cups in my verse. Unhappy, someone could be, you know, drinking themselves silly just to forget about you. There's this energy of them like trying to act happy, okay, but they're not. They're not happy. Um, because you walked away from the because the thing is Virgo you are their divine counterpart right and you can't find another empress that's the problem right there are so many queens right but there's only one empress so they may feel actually that they have missed this opportunity being with you and they could be the ones spying on you okay an ace of wands wondering how's how's your life right now are you are you physically intimate with someone? Should I just give up, you know, seven or one team on first? All right, Virgo, this is your reading. I hope you resonated in some way, shape, or form. Just looking at my timer. 30 seconds. Eh, sorry, 30 minutes already. Time just flies. But take care, Virgo. Don't forget to hit like, share, and subscribe if you find this, if you find this reading useful or if you resonated in any parts of this reading um, again don't forget to hit like share and subscribe and also don't forget to hit on the bell notification button if you don't want to miss any of my videos i do post very often once or twice a day okay virgo take care and oh for those of you who like to catch me live don't forget to also subscribe to my main channel chelsea love tarot that's where i would usually live stream um and do personal readings during that live stream but it's not free it's super chat only However, no restricted amount, small super chat, brief reading, bigger super chat, more in-depth reading. All right, Virgo, take care. I love you guys. I hope to see you back here again soon. Bye.